I'm Dr. Essie Collins, clinical pharmacist here at Acres Home Health Center with Harris Health System. We know that eating healthy foods and taking medications are generally good and can help control health issues. However, the two aren't always compatible. They sometimes interact with each other, preventing medications from working the way they should. Drug food interactions occur when the food you eat affects the body's absorption of a drug and how your body metabolizes the medication. Let's talk about a few specific examples of how drugs and food interact. It's widely known that grapefruit interacts with many medications. It contains a chemical that interferes with how the body breaks down drugs. The most common medications affected by grapefruit are statins, which are cholesterol-lowering medications. The grapefruit increases the statin levels in the person's body. A person who takes a statin and eats grapefruit may not notice symptoms right away, but over time, it can lead to a condition called rhabdomyolysis, which is a rapid breakdown of parts of muscle in the body. This can lead to severe body aches and muscle cramps and even acute kidney failure, which is a medical emergency. Vegetables and leafy greens are an important part of a healthy diet, but those who take warfarin, an anticoagulant or a blood thinner drug, should eat them in moderation. High vitamin K foods like spinach, broccoli, and lettuce can cancel out the effects that warfarin has on anticoagulation or thinning of the blood. However, with close and proper follow-up with your doctor or clinical pharmacist, the dose can be adjusted to a person's diet as long as they keep it consistent from week to week. Some fruits to avoid when taking warfarin are cranberry, papaya, mango, and pomegranate. All patients taking medication should avoid alcohol. If you still wish to drink in moderation and socially, talk with your doctor or pharmacist first to find out if alcohol can be taken with your medications. Some medications absolutely should not be taken with alcohol due to serious and unpleasant side effects. Certain medications, such as tetracycline, a type of antibiotic, cannot be taken with milk because they bind with calcium. If these medications are taken with a large amount of calcium, the drug becomes less effective. The biggest offenders more than food are antacids, such as Tums or calcium carbonate. There are many people who take this over-the-counter medication for heartburn or upset stomach. However, they contain very high amounts of calcium. Generally, patients should separate antacids and interacting medications by two hours. The most important thing is for patients to build a relationship with their healthcare provider, have open communication, and adhere to their instructions. If anyone has questions about foods they can or cannot take with medication, or if a medication should be taken with or without food, it's always best for them to ask a doctor or a pharmacist.